Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Vyaran and today we're here to discuss 5 alternative companion bonuses. So this video will be catered towards the early slash mid gamers who maybe can't afford certain companions. For example, um, the start of drops on in an event but we will talk about a different one that you can use anyway. But you've got the Minsk, you've got the Black Dragon, you've got the Neverwinter Knight, you've got the Batiri, the Alchemist Discipline, the Golden Cat. All these companions are basically what you're going to need at endgame pretty much. But we're here to talk about alternatives and where to get them. So I've actually edited my single target build and I've changed them to the alternative companions. Now, with these being alternative, your aim isn't to really max out your stats. Your aim is to get the bolsters. So, for those of you who don't know, you need 10 companions at Mythic in order to get the 100% bolster, which is one of the most important things that you should be doing. Uh, the companion and the mount bolsters are, I'd say, definitely the most important thing People might tell you different, but again, it's personal preference. But my opinion is the bolsters come first. So anyway, we have the Flame Sprites Insight. That does accuracy and crit chance. By the way, guys, I'm doing this on a DPS um, basis. I don't know enough about a tank. I don't know enough about a healer in order to tell you um what you should be running and what you shouldn't be running or alternatives or what the mains are but what we should start with is the summon companion so if you want an augment companion which is going to boost your stats uh primarily everyone either uses the albert club or the icosahedron ironstone if you want an alternative which is substantially cheaper then you are going to want the festive tiger so this did drop from an event but it's only about 80k in the auction house it's definitely affordable and it's triple offense stats as well as you can see you've got the combat advantage which is 17k uh, the crit severity and you've got the 40 so festive tiger is a good alternative for your summon companion if you want to run augment now if you want to run fighter companions these are going to change depending on single target or aoe my advice is focus on your single target first because the group will need more help at boss fights but anyway if you're looking at aoe you're going to want to get your hands on the mr gog which will be your main however for an alternative you're pretty good with a wayward wizard and how to get the wayward wizard it's going to cost you two gold so you're going to come in the enclave uh, you should enter around about here, go all the way to the left, and you see this hand here. This is the Grand Emporium, or the Companion Hut. So we're going to go inside, and what you'll find inside is a couple of vendors. All of them are going to have companions. So we're going to go over to the hand, and there you go. You've got the Wayward Wizard. That is the best bang for your buck when it comes to AoE companions. So make sure you pick yourself a Wayward Wizard if you are just starting or maybe you can't afford a Mr. Gog. Again, if you want to know how to farm them in-game companions, just go and hit Joomer up in Valenhas if you've unlocked it. So, when it comes to single target, there's only one companion you really need and that is the Pseudo Dragon, which you don't have to spend AD on. You can actually get from the Exotic tab here. And you can get it with trade bars. Now trade bars you will pick up with your VIP. If you don't have your VIP, then you can't necessarily get trade bars. So if we look on the auction house here for, if I spell it right, you're looking at 300k for the pseudo dragon. Or if you've got the VIP, just wait until you get the trade bars and you can pick it up from there. So that is the summon companions out of the way. So, you have already seen what I use for my main companions, so let's now talk about alternatives. We click over to the companions tab, and we got the flame sprite. Flame sprite, the reason I've labelled this as an alternative, because you can use the stalled off, however, it drops in an event. And I want to try and minimise 
how much AD you spend, but you can also get a Stolodorf from um, Juma. But it's only 40k anyway. I didn't expect it to be that cheap. So Stoldorf is probably a good bet for you. So you don't really need an alternative. So what we can do, we can actually put the Stoldorf back in this slot. There you go. And that'll up your combat advantage by 7.5%, which is one of the most important stats in the game. Next, this is where I usually have a Minsk. We have the Phase Spider's Presence. The Phase Spider is a companion that a lot of people use. A lot of people don't use the Minsk. I don't know why it works fine. It does what it says on the 10. There's different tiers of enemies. Maybe we'll talk about it in a future video. But the Phase Spider's Presence is crit chance and again, combat advantage. Again, it's a really good one to have. I don't want to go down the list of all my companions. Um, you could easily use this one as your main. You don't have to buy the uh, Minsk. So this is kind of like a two-in-one deal. Phase Spider is awesome. So the next one, again, this is one that isn't actually labeled as an alternative. I put this on because this was my single target and this was the best one I, I found. But we could go with the Assassin Drake. Um, I haven't ranked it up, which is why it's 0.25. But the accuracy and the crit severity is, again, really useful. It's double offense, so that would be a really good one to have. But if you can, get your hands on the, the Black Dragon Ironstone, which is actually on the Zen market here. So let's go down to Companions, and you're looking at 1,200. I want to say that's about 900k. So if we look on the auction house here. Okay, you're looking at 5 mil. So it's definitely better to either try out Juma or get it from the Zen market. Again, if you don't have Zen, don't spend real money. There are alternatives out there. For example, um, what we've just been talking about the assassin drake for example accuracy crit severity your crit strike will be low but again the black dragon iron side is more of an end game companion than it is an alternative so the assassin drake will be fine or you can actually use uh it's called a mercenary try find it here there you go Power, combat advantage, again, it's a nice stat, and it's both double offense stats. So, the next one, I usually have Neverwinter Night here, or a Bateri. Neverwinter Night and Bateri are in the Universals, but that's Endgame. So, if we're looking for alternatives, Cryptic Insight, which is the Laughing Skull, which if you want to know where to get that, it's again in the Exotic, I believe. There it is, the Laughing Skull. So pick yourself up one of them. Oh, and also the Assassin Drake is in here as well. So I didn't realize that that was in there. So that's worked out pretty well. Oh, and there's this Phase Spider in there. So they are all affordable. Obviously, 800 trade bars each. Just make sure you're opening the right lot box. And to get the right lot box, make sure you are on the Wondrous Bazaar and you pick the lot box of Omens because it has a chance of giving you all them trade bars. So... The last one we're going to talk about is the Kenku Archer. Kenku Archer drops from the Wondrous Bazaar here. Uh, we go over to the right, we go down, and there you go, 200k for the Kenku Archer. Kenku Archer is, I believe, Power and Crit Sev. Yeah, Kenku Archer is Power and Crit Sev, but if you can't get that, you can go with the Alchemist if you want, Crit Chance Combat Advantage. But I believe that is a bit more expensive. Let's try. Yeah, so it is more expensive. But again, this is something I use at Endgame. When you are getting to Endgame, you might want to get the Golden Cat. But it's substantially more expensive. However, it is a mythic. And it can go on all of your characters with one single purchase. Which is why it says account up there. But other than that, guys, that is all the alternative uh, companion bonuses 
that I have put together. If you guys can think of any more, please let me know down below. You'll help everyone out who watches the video, I'm sure. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, if you learned something new. Subscribe to the channel if you want to make your way back to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.